what the hell's going on y'all holy shit here in this video we have costume quintus did a video not too long ago on just his standalone without the costume configuration so we'll go over the stats and see if this one's better so we got the monk class costume bonus additional five five ten and five so does that give him enough it's still kind of on the weak side. His HP is sitting okay. His defense is still low. Attack is okay. If you want a different emblem path, you can get his defense up a little bit. So for slow speed, I think he's still not quite there, but better. And he deals uh, for a special skill, Shock Ultimatum. Deals 235% damage to all enemies. So that's lower attack than before. I think he was 270% damage to all enemies, but now he gets a perk of getting all enemies down, negative 34% attack for four turns. So now he has, at least he's got more than one thing going on. So he provides you with a little bit of defense and attack. His stats go up a little bit, so survivability is a smidge more. So we'll give him a shot here. We'll attack him. He's definitely much cooler looking. I'll give him that. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if he has what it takes to be ascendable. the question is who do we slow down I think we gotta go for these three what do you think these three oop oop How much attack does Atlanta do? 202. Huh, let's use his ability. Let's lower their attack and maybe we can get rid of somebody. Maybe Elena. With these tiles, perhaps. Alright, well, that was better than nothing. Hanitra, they got to give Hanitra a little something extra. Oops, I hit the wrong person. Crap. Watch him dodge now. Yep, I knew that was coming. Ah, fat fingers. All right. Well, Quince is about to go off, so let's just set him off. See what happens. Look at that. Heimdall revives nobody. Just like normal. So now everybody's got attack down. There's a little survivability. I'm not even going to set off log. I'm just going to use... Heimdall's got the attack up. I'm going to shift that attack right back down. I'm just trying to get rid of these two here. So, you know, he's he's a little bit a little bit tankier, you know. He go just before he was, I mean, it's not much, but you know that costume that ten percent sometimes is enough to you know make that hero good enough to ascend. So I'm gonna give you my real assessment here. So first off, he's awesome looking, right? Don't get me wrong, he looks way cooler than what he is. Now, if you don't have any other five star heroes that are in the dark class and you just really want to just up him 
this is the only way that I would ascend them. And what I would do is, if you have enough royal tabards to ascend two dark heroes, then ascend them, right? Definitely would not limit break them unless the same thing, unless you had two sets of limit break that you could do two heroes, right? Because what I'm doing is I'm preparing you for when you typically you know, are impatient and you just, you know, ascend or limit break, then there's always something that seems to come better to keep that, that chase going. And then you, you almost feel like you regret it. So I would say under those two circumstances, that's the only way that I would uh, limit break or ascend him. Do I think he's a little bit better now? He's a little bit better now, right? He's doing a little bit more than just attacking. He's providing a little bit of defense. So when you're using him on offense, it could be enough to definitely get you a couple extra, you know, wins, a couple extra VICs. So... You know, with that being said, he's marginally better. He's no longer a D plus. I think with this costume, he's a little bit beefier. He does a little bit more. He's still low. He's still to me at around the C minus range, uh, and that's defensively. Offensively, I, I give him a little bit better credit. Um, offensively, I'd probably uh, put him somewhere around a C, almost a C plus. So. With that being said, just to still be wary about upping him. I don't know if he has a second costume yet, but with that second costume, I heard that there might be some sort of mindless action going on there. So if he actually gets that, then he could be one of the best heroes in the game. But I'm not a beta tester. I don't you know, know what's coming. I don't pay attention to any of that. I only just, as I see it, is how I display it. So that's just you know, some insight and hopefully that helps sway your decision on, you know, not, you know, going too quickly to, you know, ascend them because typically you always get, you know, generic heroes in the beginning and then it takes a while to get some of these, you know, one off some of these better heroes. So let me know what y'all think in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one. All right. Later y'all.